data clusters seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once I'm in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. <laughs> Once again, Kinsey, I know fuck all about what you've got me doing or why I'm doing it. I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. There are several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but I marked the general areas for you. Might as well. Watch your proximity meter to see if you're getting closer to the cluster, or farther away. I wonder where Brad is taking me to dinner tonight. I'm close, Kinsey. How safe is it to nick this thing? Safe-ish. Just keep getting them. But when we get to oh, yeah, this song is brilliant. They sing with me, Kinsey. Now. I don't think so. Oh, this is happening. Even if I have to let you be the cat. Not gonna happen. We come together. <laughs> You're up, Kenzie. And you know, it ain't fiction. No. That's a direct order, Miss Kensington. Fuck that. And you wonder why I don't have you to tea anymore. She makes a bear. And he steals the covers. She likes it neat. Reading another cluster. Data is amazing. Incomplete, but amazing. Details, Kinsey. And try to keep them simple. It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation deposited loose data that can be incorporated into your programming. It's truth. I think I actually understood that. But since the data is so fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. And back to the gibberish. Ugh. It's simple. The more clusters you get, the more you can upgrade and alter your abilities. And Bob's your uncle. So will three of these suffice? Still missing some key fragments. Get one more and we'll see. So are these data biscuits? Ugh. Clusters. Right, clusters. If they can be so bloody useful, why does Zinyak leave them lying around? Why would they need them? To give his soldiers more juice? I don't know, you said they're so amazing. If Zinyak wants to change the code for his people, he can just... He wrote the simulation! But doesn't he want us to keep... Uh, sod it, I'll just accept this and move on. Probably better that way. Holy shit. Zinyak destroyed my flat! Ugh. That place should have been condemned a long time ago. Well, the ladies never complained. Should be enough. Now. Let's see what I can do here. Check your hub. This feels brilliant! Here, let me load up a training program for you to test your powers. So, what's this then? The code says you can jump long distances and run at super high speeds. How about starting with a small jump? Okay, try focusing on charging your jump. That should get you higher. How 
exactly am I supposed to jump up that? Try pushing off from the wall each jump. So I just run up walls now, do I? It'd be more accurate to say you can jump up them repeatedly. Pretty much the same thing. Crikey! This time I blew the buildings apart. Try making that jump. Oh, I'm liking this. Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. You gotta be fucking joking. Just try it. Fun, but we can do better. Good, because I found a race subroutine already in the city. Spot on. See? You did it! I think I figured out how this works. Run along the path collecting the power orbs, which should boost your new speed. Every time you hit a checkpoint, you'll be able to stay in the program a bit longer so you can reach the end. Though you probably want to avoid the firewalls along the way. Good luck! It's been months since I washed this stupid car. I guess it's not that dumb. How's this race tied to the simulation? Don't know, but it seems like when you break through any checkpoints along the race, the district's reality matrix will overload a little. You lost me. It means the simulation doesn't like it, and we're able to control the area. Hey, that time it makes sense. It did the first time I said it too. Love you too, Kinsey. Wise. How long till this gets jacked? Be an awesome one, yes. It looks like these hotspots are protected by shield generators. Getting near them will be tricky, but you'll have to shut down each one before you can take out the main hub, which, of course, is protected by even more Zin. So, good luck with that. What's a host? Basically a giant workstation. A system like the simulation you're in probably requires constant maintenance, which is what these seem to be for. And this is the only one? Of course not. Focus on the shield generators, otherwise you'll never get to the main console. Uh, sorry, didn't catch that. <laughs> oh yeah! My 
Might as well yank shit out. Light touch, provider for the win. Percent. I'm sure down you can get to the console at the base of the structure. Right, piece of cake. Mess any time. Um, I'm showing some strange readings close to you. Strange? It's raining bloody fire. What is that thing? I don't know, but it isn't raining like a normal thing. I think. I think you can integrate your code with it. Meaning? It means once you take him down, get close enough, and I think you can absorb him. Right. My wardens underestimated you. I won't let them make the same mistake twice. Uh, that can't be good. So with him, Kinsey. Set me up with one of those training rooms. I think I can do that. So what did I get? Teleportation? Laser vision? Bone claws? Whoa. Looks like the ability to freeze people and objects with an ice blast. That sounds awesome. You want it, do you? Let me load up a few targets from the simulation for you. Oh, hang on. 
You're not putting in people who will try to kill me. Don't worry, these are safe programs. You can't die from them. Hunts up again. What am I looking at? It looks like data clusters can be hidden inside walls. Use your blast to knock them out. Shit! Hell of an entrance there, huh? I'll see if I can help with that. Okay, you should be able to recover from being knocked back now. Hold on. It looks like Zinyak added... ...the shield to the warden code. I guess you pissed him off. Occupational hazard. Now how do I get around it? You'll need something more powerful than a weapon, so use your superpowers to deactivate the shield for a short time. Then you can shoot him. See? That works pretty well. Though the real thing might be a bit tougher. <laughs>